YouTube. What's up, baby? It's your back with me, back with another banger. And today, we're going to have a little unboxing. We're going to just chit-chat, talk about some things that's, you know what I'm saying, been on my mind. Make sure if y'all haven't watched the last video that I posted about what sneaker YouTubers don't tell you, make sure y'all go check that out because I dropped some gems, especially for you people that's considering becoming a YouTuber. If you want to become a YouTuber, you need to watch the video that I posted yesterday. Definitely, 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 man. I'm, I'm dropping some gems, trying to, trying to put y'all on game on how this sneaker YouTube shit works. And I'll probably make a part two about that, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, behind the scenes of sneaker YouTube and all that stuff. But to, today's video, uh, I got an unboxing and, and I'm going to talk at the same time. But Nike had some, some stuff online that was on sale. And I had a 20% discount code, so I took the sale and I made it another sale. And you know your boy Dan D love them sales and I love to get them steals. And I'm show you what I got. Now this is a a of a a of a of a t-shirt. This was originally $35. I ain't about to pay $35. But uh I think I only paid like fifteen dollars for it. I only paid fifteen dollars. Got the freak on there with the Nike check. I didn't get it because of him. I got it because <laughs> I can wear this out. You know what I'm saying to the club or something. They'd be like, "Oh, you a freak?" <laughs> yeah, baby, <laughs> I'm a freak. Oh, how freaky are you? <laughs> Take down my number and find out. So I got this for different reasons. You know what I'm saying? But uh. Wow, I got that. I think I only paid like $15 after the taxes and all that stuff. And then I got a couple of other items. But I want to talk about COVID-19, the coronavirus, how the sneaker game has changed forever and changed for the worse. Like the sneaker game that we grew up in and loved, you know, that shit is over with, bruh. Uh, like this is a brand new sneaker game out here, like, and it's and it's not for the better. You know what I'm saying? Like COVID, COVID nineteen messed up a lot of stuff, including the sneaker game. And I'm just gonna break it down to y'all, all right? And I'm gonna tell y'all why I think that. But first, I got a couple of sweatpants. This was originally uh, how much was this? Oh, this is nice material too. Oh man, I got a steal on this. How much was it? I think, man. Oh, these are nice. This is a Nike Dry Fit, uh, Nike Dry Fit Camo Slim Fit Max Tapered Legs. Oh man, the material on here is nice. Oh man, then it got a little zipper dipper right here. Oh man. I need to go buy, damn, how many pockets is in here? Oh, sh I may have to go back on and buy another one. But I bought two of these. Uh, this is like, man, this is a shit. Because on online, they had a red one and a white one. Damn, I should have bought that too. This is like a gray and black. And then I bought the regular camo as well. Man, the quality on these is nice as hell damn these was a hundred and ten dollars these was a hundred and ten dollars for the retail price but I got these I think I got them for like thirty eight dollars maybe like forty thirty eight dollars with all the discounts oh man the material oh oh these are fire these are fire man I need to get those other colorways too man the material on these is oh I got a steal in the deal on this Check it out, Nike, dry fit. I mean, not dry fit, but is it dry fit? Whatever the case may be, but these are nice, these are nice. Oh yeah, those, I got some steals and deals. But anyway, um, let's talk about the whole Corona thing, right? And why I think, why I know the coronavirus fucked up the sneaker game forever. You know what I mean? Ever since this whole sneaker, Ever since this whole coronavirus, COVID-19, COVID you know, everything is, you know, six, 
you know, uh, 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 six, was it, social distancing, you know what I mean? Places are starting to open up now. Like, things are slowly getting back together, but I don't think it's going to fully, fully come back to where it was before COVID-19 unless they just completely evaporate, you know, this whole COVID-19. But who knows when, when that's going to happen. But, you know, I made a video about how the mall vlogs are dead. And that's because of COVID-19. Like pretty much when you go to the mall and how we used to do mall vlogs, like there's no point of doing mall vlogs anymore because COVID-19 pretty much took out all the new sneaker releases and everything is online. Everything is online now because of COVID-19. You know what I'm saying? When you go to the store, you can't just go to the store and pick out a shoe a new release shoe and say I want that why because everything is online and everything is on the app we got the Foot Locker with that stupid ass flex app I haven't won one shoe on that flex app not ever since that 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 program has been introduced to us I have yet to win a shoe from Foot Locker for the action I have yet to win a shoe that's crazy, bro. So, like, just the whole, like, you know, back in the day when we used to camp. I mean, I wouldn't even say back in the day. A couple of years ago. Or if you want to be technical, back in the day. Like, some of the funnest and memorable moments came from camping. Came from, you know what I'm saying, grinding, putting your... Your, your, your uh, legs on the pavement, you know what I'm saying? Trying to talk to people, talking people in the line, going from store to store, you know what I mean? Like, just that whole experience of, you know, camping out, you don't know what's going on, the stores is not opening on time, people are going crazy in the line, people fighting in the line, people cutting in the line, people arguing in the line, all that stuff that we used to hate, quote unquote hate, when we did campouts, I kind of miss it. Now, I'm not going to lie. I kind of miss, you know, that just aspect of the sneaker game. And you know what they say, you know, you don't know what you have until you until you lose it. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much I feel like the sneaker community. Well, I wouldn't say the sneaker. This is how I feel. This is how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Because there's been plenty of times where I've done campouts, waited in the cold, waited in the heat, and then all of a sudden, you know, all the shoes are sold out, uh, sold out, which means shoes have been backdoored, you know what I mean? People fighting in line, people cutting in line, people arguing in line, all those things that we used to hate and bicker about, about the campouts, I kind of miss that because those are the things that make getting the shoe that much special because of the journey you had to take to get that shoe it wasn't just you at home put on that flex app and you just did it I'm, yeah it's more convenient this way but at the same time it's, it's it, it just doesn't you don't have that same connection with sneakers anymore because everything is just online online you gotta fight with the bots you gotta fight with the resellers and you gotta fight with the mom and pop back door like those are the three things that that we are fighting now you know what I'm saying um, and everything is online because of COVID-19 there's no more camping you know what I'm saying like camping was one of probably one of the things that just made the sneaker community so special you know what I'm saying just waiting in line driving going to the store you you thinking that you the first person in line, you hit that corner, you see a long ass line, you're like, oh my God, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And then you talking to the people in line, you try to finesse your way in the line. Like some of my most classic videos on Sneaker YouTube on my channel has been from campouts. Like if y'all go like all my OGs, all my day ones know that I had some epic campouts. Like when I did for the um, Jordan 12 Masters. Y'all re remember that Jordan 12 Master release? That shit was crazy. Like, 
I can go back and watch that video and laugh and have a good time because it was just, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was, it was a moment. It was a moment. And like when um, that Jordan 1 Satin Royal release, y'all remember that Jordan 1 Satin Royal release? Like that was, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go watch it. You know what I'm saying? Like I can remember exactly what happened like I can I can literally tell you what happened I was at home I went out that night I went out the night before I got drunk as fuck going out partying having a good time talking to women you know what I'm saying doing what I do um and my phone was just blowing up my phone was just blowing up blowing up. I'm like what the fuck did, did, did somebody die in my family I'm like what the fuck is going on did I check my phone people calling me people sending me DMs yo D they're doing this they're doing a, a shot drop uh, on the satin ones. I'm like, satin ones? I'm like, where at? They're like, over there on a OST and somewhere. I'm like, oh shit, for real? And then, bro, I literally just got up, woke up, gri grabbed the camera, drove in traffic, driving all over traffic, bobbing and weaving through traffic. Like, I can remember step by step, step by step of what happened in that event because that's what it's about, you know what I'm saying? Because of the whole camping experience. We're not gonna have those type of stories anymore. Like, we're not gonna have any backstory behind getting a shoe anymore. The only thing we can say is, oh man, I woke up late Saturday morning and I checked the sneaker app and oh, it was still pairs there and I got lucky and I hit the button and I won. That's what that's what type of memories we are gonna have now. Just lucky, you know. I got online five minutes after after the shoe drop, and I luckily won. Those stories, that story is nothing compared to what we used to have. Like I, I'm sure right now, y'all can like vividly remember step by step exactly what happened. You know on the Jordan 1 Chicago release that happened in 2015. Like, I'm sure y'all can remember certain situations in the sticker game where you was camping out. Like, you can remember vividly every single thing that happened that day. Like the Travis Scott restock. Y'all remember that Travis Scott restock video that I made? What, was it this year? Or last year, I don't, I don't remember. But remember when I was outside selling um, spicy chicken nuggets from Popeyes? Y'all remember that? <laughs> that shit is classic. Like those type of events, those type of scenarios, those type of things are not gonna happen anymore because of COVID-19. Like COVID-19 switched up the whole sneaker game. There's going to be no more campouts. There's no more raffles. You know what I'm saying? Everything is digital. Everything is online. Everything is is just it's just too convenient. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sure some of y'all people might might like the way that the sneaker game is because it's so convenient. You don't have to drive, you know, 15 minutes away or you don't have to you know, deal with people in the line, cutting in the line. Yeah, I understand that, but 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 that's what makes memories. You know what I'm saying? That is what makes the sneaker game what it is. If it wasn't for campouts, if it wasn't for, you know, people fussing, arguing in the line, people fighting in the line, you know what I mean? People trying to cut in the line, you know, you trying to talk to other people, you trying to talk to... Like, that's what makes the sneaker game the sneaker game. You know what I'm saying? And that... All that now is just, it's just, it's just, it's done. It's over, bro. It's over. Only thing people care about now is just reselling, reselling. Should I hold or should I sell? Like, I'm going to make another video about that. Like, all these people that's making these hold or sell. Why are y'all so worried about holding and selling when the whole purpose of buying sneakers is to look fresh? And to rock it with your new outfit and just a stunt on niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what the sneaker culture is about.
about putting the shoes on your feet. But 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 now niggas just want to make oh should I should I hold it now or should I sell it now? Oh the profit of this oh the market like man bro like the coronavirus literally just fucked up the sneaker game forever man and hopefully you know if the world can get back to its normal state you know before COVID nineteen hopefully things could get better but. Even if the world gets better with this whole COVID thing, I think the companies out there like it, likes the way that stuff is being ran because everything is so digital. Everything like, the I feel like the companies have more control of the sneaker game because they can do pretty much whatever the fuck they want to do because like it's in their power, it's in their control, you know what I'm saying? But y'all leave a comment down below. Uh, y'all let me know if y'all agree with me or not um, about how the whole COVID-19 um, has changed the sneaker game. And y'all give me some situations or examples if I didn't um, talk about it in this video of how COVID-19 changed the sneaker game. But I just, it's like, man, like that whole camping out experience, like that whole excitement, like the excitement of the sneaker game is just gone because 99.9% .9 of the time when you go to the sneaker app on, you know, on a hype shoe or a shoe that you really want, you're going to take the L because there's so many bots out there now. You know what I'm saying? So many bots, like the whole excitement and the build up and the anticipation and just you know camping experience that whole fun thing that we used to do when um sneakers came out you know like the whole excitement going to the mall and maybe you may look up and see a pair just sitting there or you may go to the mall two hours later and the shoe's still there you can go get it you know what i'm saying like all oh, that is done it's a wrap <laughs> Everything is registered online, scan this, scan that. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. But y'all let me know how do y'all feel about this. Leave a comment down below. And man, I got, hey, these pants are fucking nice as hell. Hey, y'all might want to go and buy these pants because uh, I think they, well, they probably sold out by the time um, I make this video. But then. These are some nice ass pants. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. Uh, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. And I'm going to make another video about the type of people that ruined this sneaker YouTube. All these niggas that's making these hold and sell videos. I got something for y'all. I got something for y'all. But anyway, man, it's your boy DMD. I'm signing out, baby. Peace.